we are, are asking what is the right treatment to give after a patient has received PD-1 blockade monotherapy. Um, from this study we know that the combination is very effective but this is first-line treatment. So we're now asking what do you do at the time of either PD-1 resistance or primary refractoriness? Should you just give ipilimumab or do you need to give the combination? Because there's a vast difference in the toxicity profile of those two interventions. And so we're asking that question now prospectively. The trial is open. Happy to see patients for that study. Um, there is some dose ranging going on um, right now looking at um, 3 milligrams per kilogram of uh, ipilimumab and 1 milligram per kilogram of nivolumab, which is the dosing used in the Checkmate 067, um, with flipped doses. Um, 3 milligrams per kilogram of nivolumab, 1 milligram per kilogram of ipilimumab um, to try to perhaps improve the um, safety to efficacy profile. This is uh, interestingly a, a dosing regimen that has been explored successfully in renal cell, um, carcinoma in urothelial cancer, and actually really helped the toler tolerability of this regimen in um, non-small cell lung cancer. So I think we definitely have some dose ranging yet to do. Um, I still am very comfortable uh, offering the combination of ipilimumab and nivolumab along the same dose and schedule that was seen in Checkmate 067 to patients with metastatic melanoma today until we have the results of these studies.